Hi there. Are you ready for an adventure? When you hear the word safari, you probably think of Africa. But in fact, Europe and Asia have just as many fascinating animals of their own. Let's go and find some of them. Just look at these herds of wild sheep. They live in the high, cold mountains of Afghanistan and Pakistan at heights of over 4,000 meters. They're called Marco Polo sheep. Marco Polo was an explorer who lived in the 13th century and he was the first European to write about them. It's dark. They're going home to sleep. This animal here is a Palmyra ibex. These are large, heavy goats that live in the same steep mountainous regions where it's too dry for trees to grow. You can see how dry this region is, but they still manage to find grass and herbs to eat. They can even survive in semi-desert areas. This is another wild goat, a Spanish ibex. These animals live in the mountains of Spain. Just look at them, climbing the sheer rock faces. They have strong, short legs. And they're such good climbers that their enemies find it almost impossible to catch them. This pretty spotted deer is a seeker deer. You can find these animals all over East Asia. There are very many of them in China and Japan. They like to live in grasslands and woodlands and can even be found close to dense human settlements like cities or towns. Just look at this magnificent animal. He has a reddish-brown coat, and this gives him his name, a European red stag. Look at those magnificent antlers. They look like small trees on his head. Only the males have antlers. These two have come out for a chat. The fallow deer, like this one, are indigenous to Europe. Because European explorers took them to faraway lands, they are now found in countries all over the world, particularly where there is grass or trees. I hope you've enjoyed being on safari with me today and meeting these unusual animals.